Hey everybody, and today we're we'll focusing on how to paint the final details for a salamander. For this, um, I know I've done a salamander paint tutorial in the past, but for this we're going to focus on the finishing detail. And the finishing detail we're talking about is the flame Mahaldori, where they basically have like the flame uh, paint job. So for this, we're going to get started. So let me find my proper brush real quick. Ah, here it is. For this, we're going to be focusing on the legs. You could, of course, apply it to the shoulder pads if you want to. But for this, we're going to start with a base coat of Mephist in Red. And since this is freehand, you're going to have to thin down your paint quite a lot. Not too thin. Perfect. And also we're down your brush to it goes to a fine point. So for this, we're going to look at the legs. For this, it depends on wherever you want. But for this, we're going to add it right here. Make sure you put in flame a pattern of a flame of fire. So that way it looks nice and natural. And for this, you can only keep it on the back part. We're going to only keep it on the back part, but don't worry. And if you look very closely, I'm just going to do one side of the leg because this will apply nicely to the other ones as well. Turn it around and continue. Probably can't see it very well, but here. All right, there we go. That's the fist in red done. All right, now, while the paint is still wet, all we're going to do is we're going to apply something different. For this, we're going to apply a layer paint, Evil Sun Scarlet. So, all we're going to do, Evil Sun Scarlet. Okay. Turn this down a little bit more. So, all we're going to do, focus on where the paper burns brightest. So, for this right here. Turn it around slightly. All right. We're going to focus on the other side. There we go. All right, that's the Evil Sun Scarlet done. All right, next we're going to apply an orange. For this, for this we're going to use Troll Slayer Orange. Actually, no, never mind. Sorry about that. We're going to use Fire Dragon Bright. The reason why we're using Fire Dragon Bright is because we still need to save room for the yellow. So for this, take some Fire Dragon Bright, put on the palette, and thin this down quite a lot because this is freehand. So, all we're going to do, paint this where we go. So, move further down, so that way it gives the illusion of fire. And the reason why we keep it at the bottom is because naturally fire is hottest at the bottom. All right, that's the Fire Dragon Bright done. You can leave it there and it'll be done. But for this, we're gonna add a special, special highlight. For this, we're gonna use a, we're gonna use a, the brightest highlight, which is gonna be yellow. For this, we're gonna use our brightest yellow. Flash gets yellow. 
So, and if you want to, you could of course use Uriel Yellow instead, but I'm going to use Flash Gets Yellow because it has the nice bright yellow finish. Take some Flash Gets Yellow, put it on the palette, and then we're going to thin it down quite a lot because uh, this is a because this is freehand. Just make sure you don't thin it down too much. Perfect. All right, so now all we're going to do is going to say we're going to paint the we're going to finish off the Heldory. So for right here, oops, sorry about that. So all we're going to do is this. So on the very 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 bottom, just on the very very edges, so that way it blends from the with the fire dragon right. All right, and that's the effect done. All right, so this is how you can paint your flame haldery on uh, on salamanders. This won't work just on the this will work on the uh, incursors, but it also works for the intercessors and whatever a, a salamander army you, unit you have. So that concludes this, today's tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Bye bye.